Welcome back sa aking channel at sa video ito ay tatalakayin ko ang factoring general trinomial at ito nga ang unang bahagi, ang polynomial or trinomial in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. Ituloy nyo lang ang panunood at ito ay gagawin kong simple, detalyado at madaling intindihin. Kung bago ka lang napadpad sa aking channel, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe para updated ka sa mga sunod-sunod na videos na i-upload ko sa channel kong ito. Let us start the lesson by familiarizing the following definition of terms. Constant term is a number which is definite in value. Linear term is a term in the first degree. Quadratic term is a term in the second degree. Quadratic trinomial in one variable is a polynomial in one variable with the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. The following are the steps in factoring general trinomial. Step 1. List all the factors whose products equals the first term and last term. Step 2. Get the pair of factors in the list whose sum equals the coefficient of the linear term. Step 3. Write the binomial factors in the form of quantity x plus r and quantity x plus s. Let us take some example problems for this topic. Number 1, factor x squared plus 8x plus 12. First factor the first term. The factor of x squared equals x and x. Use the following table to get the signs of the correct factors of the third term or the last term. On the first column is the sign of the last term. In our case, it is positive. In the second column, it's, it refers to the sign of the middle term. In our case, positive also. On the third column are the signs of the factors of the third or last term. To use the table, examine the given trinomial to factor. If the first term is positive and the middle term is also positive, the sign of the two factors of the third term are positive and positive. If the sign of the last term is positive, the sign of the middle term is negative, the signs of the two factors are negative and negative. If the sign of the last term is negative, the sign of the middle term is positive, the sign of the factors are positive on the higher, negative on the lower factor. If the sign of the last term is negative and negative also on the middle term, the signs of the factors of the last terms are negative on the lower factor and positive on the higher factor. In our case, in problem number 1, the signs of the last term and the middle term are both positive. Therefore, the operations of the two factors are also both positive or addition. Next, list all the possible factors of the third term which is 12. And they are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. And since the last term is positive, ask to yourself, what are the factors of 12 if added equals 8? And from the list of factors of 12, they are 2 and 6. And 2 and 6 will be written as partners of the factors of the first term. Therefore, we can now say that the factors of x squared plus 8x plus 12 equals quantity x plus 2 and quantity x plus 6. Problem number 2, factors x squared minus 13x plus 40. The factors of the first term, x squared equals x and x. Since the sign of the last term is positive and the middle term is negative, the operations to be used on the first factor is minus and also minus on the second factor. Next, list all the possible factors of the third term which is 40 and they are 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. Since the last term is positive, again, ask to yourself what are the factors Factors of 40 whose sum is 13. From the list, they are 5 and 8. And write 5 and 8 as partners of the factors of the first term. Therefore, the factors of x squared minus 13x plus 40 equals quantity x minus 5, quantity x minus 8. Problem number 3, factor x squared plus 4x minus 21. Again, the factors of x squared equals x and x. 
the sign of the last term is negative, the sign of the middle term is positive, therefore, the factors are positive on the higher and negative on the lower factors of 21, the last term. Since the sign of the last term is minus, ask to yourself, what are the factors of 21 if subtracted equals 4? And they are 3 and 7. Then, assign negative or minus 3 on 3 and plus or positive on 7. Therefore, the factors of x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals quantity x plus 7 and quantity x minus 3. Number 4, factor y squared minus 5y minus 36. Since the last term is negative, and the middle term is also negative, we will assign negative to the higher factor and positive on the lower factor of the third term which is 36. The possible factors of 36 are 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. Since the third term is minus, look for the factors of 36 if subtracted equals 5. And they are 4 and 9. Assign 9 to the higher factor and 4 to the lower factor. Therefore, the factors of y squared minus 5y minus 36 equals quantity y plus 9 and quantity y plus 4. Another number 5, factor m squared minus 26m plus 48. The factors of m squared equals m times m. Since the operation of the last term is plus and the operation of the second term is minus, the sign of the factors of 48 are both negative or the operations are both minus. The third term is plus, so what are the factors of 48 if added equals 26? And they are 2 and 24. Then, write 2 and 24 as the partners of the factors of the first term. Therefore, the factors of m squared minus 26m plus 48 equals quantity m minus 2, quantity m minus 24. Sixth and last problem for this video, x squared plus 7x minus 60. The factors of x squared equals x and x. Since the third term is negative and the middle term is positive, we will assign positive on the higher factor and negative on the lower factor. On all the possible factors of 60, look for the pair of factors whose difference is 7, and they are 5 and 12. Assign 12 on the higher factor and 5 on the lower factor. Therefore, the factors of x squared plus 7x minus 60 is quantity x plus 12 and quantity x minus 5. Muli kung nagustuhan mo at nakatulong sa iyo ang video na ito, please like. At pakishare mo na rin para makatulong din tayo sa iba.